Before we jump into the declaration, it's critical to comprehend what molecular accelerators are. The Large Hadron Collider, LHC, operated by CERN, is a 17-mile ring of superconducting magnets and the world's largest and most powerful atom smasher. It represents the pinnacle of human scientific achievement. In fact, it's so powerful that it can reproduce the physical conditions present at the birth of the universe. But could this machine, designed to unlock the mysteries of the universe, hold the key to something far more ominous? CERN, established in 1954, is one of the world's most prestigious research organizations. With 23 member states and thousands of scientists, it serves as a hub for collaboration and innovation. The LHC is CERN's flagship project, but it's just one piece of a vast network of accelerators and experiments. Imagine a circuit, not for cars or horses, but for subatomic particles, in a race against time and space itself. The LHC accelerates protons to nearly the speed of light, sending them on a collision course that mirrors the energy of the universe at the time of the Big Bang. These collisions generate temperatures billions of times hotter than the core of the sun thousands of magnets guide the protons on their journey, while intricate cooling systems keep the magnets at temperatures colder than outer space. The beams inside the LHC collide at four specific points around the accelerator ring, corresponding to the locations of four particle detectors. Atlas, CMS, ALICE, and LHCB. Each serves a unique purpose, probing different aspects of particle physics. Together they act as giant cameras, capturing snapshots of these collisions. Scientists sift through the resulting debris, searching for signs of the elusive Higgs boson, also known as the God particle, and other phenomena that offer clues to the fundamental building blocks of the universe. By studying the microcosm we gain insights into the macrocosm. Yet, with each answer comes another question, and with each discovery, another challenge. The LHC isn't just a scientific instrument. It's a testament to human curiosity and ingenuity. It embodies our relentless pursuit of knowledge and our desire to understand the fundamental forces that shape our universe. However, as we push the boundaries of what we know, we must also consider the ethical and existential questions that arise. What are the risks of probing the unknown? Could our quest for understanding inadvertently unleash forces beyond our control? In the hallowed halls of CERN, where the limits of human understanding are constantly challenged, a discovery has emerged that sends a shiver down the spine of even the most seasoned scientists. Brian Cox, a former researcher at CERN and a renowned voice in particle physics, recently made an announcement that has left the world both fascinated and fearful. Cox's words resonate with haunting clarity. The goal of CERN's Large Hadron Collider is to recreate a miniature Big Bang. Yes, you heard that right, a small version of the very event that gave birth to our universe. The physicist also explained the implications of this goal, highlighting the LHC's extraordinary potential for groundbreaking discoveries. This includes unlocking the secrets of the Higgs boson and probing dark matter a mysterious substance that makes up a significant portion of the universe. Imagine harnessing the power of creation itself, the ability to summon the very essence of the universe. It's an enticing prospect, yet one fraught with peril. The miniature Big Bang isn't a theoretical concept, it's a tangible reality within the LHC. The temperatures, pressures, and raw energy all mimic the conditions of the universe's infancy. It's like standing at the very beginning, witnessing the birth of existence itself. But with such power comes responsibility, and the question looms, what if something goes wrong? In fact, something did go wrong back in 1978. Russian physicist Anatoly Bugorsky experienced an accident that would forever change the course of his life. While working on the UB-70 synchrotron at the Institute for High Energy Physics in Pratvino, Russia, a malfunction caused his head to inadvertently come into the direct path of a proton beam. The beam, with a force that defies comprehension, passed through his skull, entering the back of his head and exiting through his nose. Bugorsky's experience was miraculous. He reported seeing a flash brighter than a thousand suns but felt no pain. The beam's path left a trail of destruction, burning through tissue and bone yet he remained conscious and even walked to the clinic for treatment. The aftermath was both horrifying and fascinating. The beam caused localized tissue death, 
leading to the loss of hearing in one ear and partial facial paralysis. Yet, remarkably, Bugorsky's intellectual abilities remained intact, and he continued his scientific career. This incident is not merely a personal tragedy but a cautionary tale highlighting the immense power and potential danger of particle accelerators. The risks of an atom smasher like the LHC should not be underestimated. The potential for unforeseen reactions and the manipulation of the very fabric of spacetime are not the stuff of science fiction but genuine concerns raised by some in the scientific community. One of the most unsettling and intriguing concerns associated with the LHC's experiments is the possibility of creating a miniature black hole. Black holes are regions of spacetime where gravity is so strong that not even light can escape. They are cosmic vacuum cleaners, devourers of stars, and enigmatic entities lurking in the shadows of our universe. The idea that the LHC could create such an entity, even on a tiny scale, is both shocking and awe-inspiring. Could this black hole grow uncontrollably, consuming the Earth from within? Scientists at CERN assure us that any black hole created would be unstable and dissipate almost instantly. Yet, the remote possibility has ignited debates, fears, and a sense of wonder at the power we wield. Understanding how the LHC could create a black hole involves the fundamental mechanics of particle accelerators. When protons collide at nearly the speed of light, the energy released is so immense that it warps the fabric of spacetime itself. Imagine a trampoline stretched tight, and then a heavy weight is dropped onto it. The fabric bends and curves, and if the weight is heavy enough, it could create a depression so deep that anything nearby would be pulled into it. That's a simplistic analogy for what could happen in the LHC. In the world of quantum physics, where the rules of the universe are both bizarre and beautiful, there exists a theory that extra dimensions may be hidden within our universe. If these dimensions exist, the LHC's collisions could tap into them, creating a gravitational funnel that forms a microscopic black hole. A few widely popular researchers, especially the late Stephen Pedling in his book, cautioned of a situation where the Higgs boson could become shaky at exceptionally high energy levels. This shakiness could prompt a horrendous vacuum rot, a grandiose occasion that wouldn't just obliterate the Earth, but the whole universe itself. The regarded English cosmologist and astrophysicist Sir Martin Rhee also expressed his concerns about the trials conducted at CERN in his book On What's to Come, Possibilities for Mankind. He investigated the potential dangers related to atom smasher tests, including those at CERN. His words were not simply preventative. They were touched with a sense of existential fear. He discussed a worst-case scenario where a disastrous experiment could create a condition considered vacuum instability. This instability could, in theory, trigger a phase change that would echo through the actual fabric of spacetime, resulting in an enormous disaster that could engulf the entire universe. Rhee's concerns were not limited to hypothetical insights. He assigned a likelihood to these devastating results, yet a low one. Still, even a minute chance, he argued, should give us cause for concern. The stakes are impossibly high, and the margin for error is razor thin. The researchers at CERN have run the probabilities, done the simulations, and reviewed the hypotheses to argue for the safety of the LHC. In fact, Brian Cox himself recognized the importance of responsible investigation, acknowledging that there are widespread fears and concerns surrounding the activities of the LHC. He stressed that there are thorough safety measures in place, including extensive reviews and protocols that ensure the LHC's operations are conducted with extreme attention to detail. Cox reassured that the energies involved are well within what the Earth naturally experiences, and the chances of creating a stable black hole are cosmically low. Even if one were created, scientists say it would be so small and so unstable that it would dissipate instantly into energy, a phenomenon predicted by Stephen Selling, known as Selling Radiation. It would be a fleeting moment of vast marvel, a brief glimpse into the abyss, and then gone. Some have gone further speculating that the LHC's investigations could open a gateway to another universe or dimension. This idea, though largely dismissed by mainstream scientists, has captured the imagination of many and has become a subject of interest, fear, and even legend. What lies beyond our existence? Might we accidentally release powers or substances that we don't understand, opening a gateway to hell?
This has even been sensationalized in various media, stoking the fires of uncertainty. But how did this idea come to be, and what does it mean in the context of scientific exploration? The concept of parallel dimensions isn't new in physics. String theory, a leading candidate for a unified theory of everything, posits that there may be more than the familiar three dimensions of space and one of time. These additional dimensions could be compactified or hidden from our perception, but they could hypothetically be accessed or revealed under extreme conditions. Now, imagine the LHC as a cosmic key, opening doors that have been sealed since the beginning. When protons collide at energies never before achieved on Earth, they could, in theory, create waves or vibrations that probe these hidden dimensions, if such dimensions exist. The LHC might actually uncover them. But before we get carried away with wild speculation, it's important to understand that while the LHC is extraordinarily powerful, there is no definitive proof to suggest it will open a door to another universe, let alone hell itself. Nonetheless, the allure of the unknown, combined with the baffling nature of quantum physics, means that such ideas will continue to captivate the public imagination. So, should we be worried about the LHC and its potential dangers? It's easy to be swept away by shocking headlines and fears of grand catastrophe, but the truth is, the researchers at CERN are acutely aware of the risks involved. They have taken precautions to ensure that their experiments are safe, and they continue to monitor and assess their work with the highest level of diligence. The potential benefits of the research, the breakthroughs in our understanding of the universe, the discovery of new particles, the study of dark matter, are truly inspiring. The LHC is not just a testament to human creativity but a window into the very heart of the universe. However, like any great leap forward in science, it comes with its share of risks, and we should approach it with a combination of wonder, respect, and caution. The Large Hadron Collider represents the cutting edge of scientific inquiry, where theoretical physics meets experimental reality. Its ability to answer fundamental questions about the universe— such as the origins of mass and the nature of dark matter, is unparalleled. Yet, despite rigorous safety measures and detailed calculations, the LHC still evokes a sense of mystery and trepidation among some. The sheer scale of the machine and the energy it generates are awe-inspiring, and each new experiment opens the door to strange scientific realms. While most scientists remain confident about the safety of LHC experiments, there are undeniable uncertainties. What if new, unanticipated phenomena emerge, challenging our understanding of physics and the universe's laws? The LHC pushes the boundaries of human knowledge and tests the limits of our control over the natural world. As particle collisions recreate conditions unseen since the Big Bang, the profound nature of these experiments raises existential questions about the consequences of tampering with the very fabric of the universe. Nevertheless, the LHC's achievements in particle physics have been extraordinary. It has led to the discovery of the Higgs boson, advanced our understanding of the Standard Model, and opened pathways to potential breakthroughs that could reshape our technological future. Despite the dangers, the quest for knowledge remains one of humanity's most ambitious undertakings. The journey of scientific discovery is rarely without risk, and the LHC is no exception. Its operations delve into realms of physics where intuition no longer applies. For decades, physicists have sought to understand the fundamental forces of nature. Gravity, electromagnetism, the weak nuclear force, and the strong nuclear force, each playing a crucial role in the structure of matter. The LHC has been instrumental in providing clues that bring us closer to a unified theory of everything, where all these forces may be reconciled under a single framework. As humanity continues to explore these frontiers, the nature of the experiments raises important ethical considerations. Could advances in particle physics lead to potentially negative outcomes for our planet, or even the entire fabric of reality? These are difficult questions to answer, and they require careful thought about the broader implications of scientific progress. For instance, the creation of exotic particles or the study of high-energy conditions might reveal unknown aspects of the universe, but they also carry the risk of triggering new phenomena that are hard to predict. The pursuit of scientific knowledge in these strange domains can evoke both excitement and fear. As discoveries unfold, humanity must grapple with the responsibility of ensuring that progress is guided by wisdom, caution, and an understanding of the potential. 
Some argue that our understanding of quantum physics is still in its infancy, and the LHC's experiments, which operate in the realm of subatomic particles, may one day lead to unforeseen revelations with far-reaching implications. While the LHC tests are ultimately designed to shed light on some of the most significant questions in physics, they also force us to confront a fundamental aspect of human nature. The desire to push the limits of the known, often without fully understanding the potential outcomes of that exploration. The hope is that the LHC's discoveries will lead to a better understanding of the universe, but there will always be an element of uncertainty as we venture further into the unknown. As the LHC continues its groundbreaking work, it also serves as a reminder of the interconnectedness between scientific discovery and societal responsibility. The experiments conducted at CERN may one day transform fields beyond physics, such as energy production, material science, and medicine. By studying particles and their interactions, scientists may uncover new methods of harnessing energy or even discovering novel forms of matter that could revolutionize technology as we know it. However, the potential for both remarkable progress and unforeseen challenges is ever-present. The delicate balance between exploring the unknown and managing the inherent risks requires vigilance. As humanity moves forward, it is essential that we navigate this path thoughtfully ensuring that we approach the wonders of the universe with humility and respect for the potential consequences of our actions.